Welcome to module number three, sweep number 17. We're just about to start multiplication and division facts for year three students. So just to put it in context, the curriculum in Australia states that year three students should learn all the addition facts, which we've done in module one, all the subtraction facts, which we did in module two, and easier multiplication and division facts. And that is the two times, three times, five times, and 10 times. And we have added the four times because there was space and because we thought it was the next easiest one that students would be capable of doing. So some weeks, some uh, sweeps, I should say, we're looking at multiplication and division together. In some sweeps, we're looking at them one at a time. So this sweep, we're looking at multiplying and dividing by two because it's the easiest set. Before that, however, students are going to do a pretest. Once again, this is a test of work they haven't studied, they haven't been taught, at least in this program. And so they need to be encouraged to do their best, not stress about it, don't freak out at questions that look too difficult, skip ones if they really need to, just do their best within the five minutes that's available. So that's the pretest. Record the score in the students' workbooks, they can do that themselves. And then we work on the strategy of multiplying and dividing by two. So we've got three worksheets for that. So here's an example, nice, one of the easier number facts. We've got two columns, we have four rows. We can say we have two columns of four or four rows of two, however we look at it. This is what we call an array. It has rows and columns. It's a really neat model for multiplication and we can use it in so many different ways to relate um, known facts to new facts and new strategies and that sort of thing. So here we have a nice easy way of showing a couple of multiplication number facts, two times four and its turnaround, four times two. Of course, they both equal eight. We could do this on a 10 frame. I decided not to for this one, but it doesn't really matter. So they're two related turnaround number facts, but as well as that, we can now introduce division and we can say if we have eight and we divide it by two, and that has to be explained, are we talking about dividing into two equal groups or are we talking about dividing it into groups of two? Both are legitimate. One is called partition. That's where you have a set divided into a known number of regions, if you like. You partition it into subsets. And one is called quotition, which means we're taking away groups of a known size, like filling boxes. So if you have 48 cans of baked beans or something and you're putting it into boxes and each box holds eight cans you put eight in this box eight in that box eight in that box you're taking away eight it's like s repeated subtraction that's called quotation okay that's just a bit of theory so eight divided by two can be partition or quotation depending on the story that you tell and then we have the the other turnaround which is eight divided by four of course those numbers reappear and this forms, as we've mentioned before, in addition and subtraction, a number fact family. Eight, two, and four go together with the two operations, multiplication and division, and in a sort of family. They relate to each other mathematically. We can demonstrate them in a triangular diagram like this one. And all four number facts can be grouped together, can be learned together, can remind students of each other so that they can learn you know, four for the price of one, as it were. That really is it. Um, this is the two times and dividing by two week, and I'll see you next time.